This is the best moments of the Barbecue Central Show in 10 minutes or less. Ever wish you could re-listen to your favorite interview or segment? Do you enjoy hearing older shows for the first time in years? Then the best moments of the Barbecue Central Show in 10 minutes or less is just what you need. Thanks for listening and enjoy the show. Yes, John Solberg here. Thanks so much for listening. You know, I'm the host for the best moments of the Barbecue Central Show in 10 minutes or less. And I'm excited to tell you that today's episode is being brought to you by The Butcher Shop. Purveyors of highly sought after 100% Australian non crossbred bread wire Lara 9 plus briskets. And as always, they are handpicked just for you. The Butcher Shop has been retailing the finest meats for more than 15 years. Every week, they ship out competition quality meats to many of the biggest teams in the competition scene across the nation. Simply put, teams who use The Butcher Shop win, and they win often. Even if you're not a competitor, they can still get you some of the finest cuts in life. The Butcher Shop is shipping some of the finest prime, dry-aged Australian Wagyu and Japanese Wagyu steaks to people just like you and me who aspire to be the kings and queens of the cul-de-sac. The Butcher Shop always has Berkshire, Compart Duroc, Allegiance Duroc, and Prairie Fresh all-natural pork in stock, and it's always going to be hand-picked for you. You might be saying, John, I love that, but I'd really like to try something different. Well, rest easy. The Butcher Shop can get you an elk steak or a camel roast or maybe some ostrich or Give them a call. We don't even know what they might be able to get you. I'll tell you how to call them here in just a second. Let's review all of this first. The best competition briskets, check. The best pork selection, check. Giving you better overall options to cook at home, check. So give the butcher shop a call today, 850-458-8782. That's 850-458-8782. You mentioned the Barbecue Central Show, and they're going to give you 10% off your entire order each and every time. You can also check them out over at Facebook, facebook.com slash the butcher shop. Shop is spelled S H O P P E. The butcher shop, home of the 100% Australia non crossbred Wilara 9 plus briskets. And here's what's going on today. We're taking a jump back to 2013. Greg's going to catch up with Sterling Ball. I beseech you to stick around to the very end. I'm going to go off script a bit and I'm going to leave a little barbecue commentary after this segment. So without any further ado, we've been on the show uh, maybe once or twice before. We welcome in Sterling Ball to the show. Sterling, how are you, bud? I'm fine. Hey, thanks for having me. Uh, Sterling, my pleasure, and I appreciate you making time for the show tonight. Uh, I know you got a busy schedule with things coming up this weekend, which we'll obviously get to here in just a second. But uh, if you don't mind, uh, before we get into all the good stuff, uh, maybe for the folks that don't know or maybe they haven't dug... 5-11. What's 5'11". 5'11". Yes. Oh, I thought you were going to ask how tall I was. 5'11 and 185 trim pounds, I would imagine, right? That's just that's my driver's license. That's right. Now, for the folks that maybe haven't dug through the archives of the show and, and heard uh, the, the previous interview that I've done with you, um, maybe a little background about you, uh, how you got into competition barbecue, why you started in competition barbecue, the business of barbecue, all that good stuff. Well... It's sort of like if you don't know where you're going, you'll end up someplace else. And I had bought a couple smokers, and the guys at work, Jody and Brad and stuff, would come by and assemble them. And uh, I kept buying them because I figured I've always been a cook. Uh, And when I got these indirect heat grills, I figured I could teach men how to cook. And so I decided I'd come up with this website and make some videos and Stuff and Jody comes to me and goes, We wanna we wanna compete. I said, That's can't be any fun at all. And they went, got hammered and got second place in ribs. And so I showed up and next thing you know, they all go off and have kids and I'm still cooking. Is it uh, <laughs> is it is it, it mere or... Sterling, is it mere luck that you go to a competition, get hammered and walk away with second place? Or is that part of the process? Well I don't I, I don't drink, so I don't know. But I, they oh. they didn't get uh, they got more hammered the second contest and came back uh, talking about something about a table of death. Hmm. We'll probably get into that a little bit tonight. Table of death. Um, yeah. I think uh, maybe what's interesting as well, and I don't know how much you want to talk about it, is you know that other portion of industry that you're in, uh, which happens to be in the in the music side of things. Uh, are are you involved in both extensively, or are you more a barbecue guy than uh, than the, the the Ernie Ball 
par- portion of things. No, I, I'm so deep in Ernie Ball, it's not even funny. We're open, uh, I'm opening a new factory right now. Um, it, it's it's a crazy deal. I mean, the guitar, the, uh, my father was a guy named Ernie Ball who was a pioneer in guitar products. And at 22, I took over his business and it had 14 employees. And it's it's been wonderful. And my sons are in it now. We, we now sell to 110 countries and about, Every third of a second, somebody buys one of our products. So, but my, I'm still deeply focused on it. I just don't sleep as much. I just finished designing a guitar with a guitar player named John Petrucci at Dream Theater, and they have very rabid fans. So that's been interesting. That took two years. How does one balance, you know, something uh, the enterprise of uh, the Ernie Ball companies, and then also be uh, so active in the barbecue community. I mean, not only are you uh, competing, but you know you've taken it to the next level. Uh, you know, starting last year with that King of the Smokers, which obviously we'll talk about here in just a second. But you know, competing is one thing; putting on a competition is certainly taking it to the next level. So, how are you able to to kind of find that time, or how do you divide time uh, for both? Well, I think some of the guys will tell you, Rod and Darren and. Uh, all the, the elite guys, Scott, and stuff. I, I start at 5 every morning. I usually cook. People always ask on Facebook, who's Big Papa's cook? Well, it's me. <laughs> and I usually cook, and then I have to be back in the house. I work in a man cave, and I have to be back in the house at 9.30. So that's sort of how I do it. But everything I do, I love. So, I mean, I love the music business. I love the barbecue business. I've got dear friends in both, and... uh you know, I'm just not, I think that, you know, I'm 58 years old and I think you're supposed to slow down and I don't want to A, grow up or B, slow down. <laughs> Who does? Sterling Ball joining us here on the show. BigPapaSmokers.com is the website if you want to check it out here while we're talking. Also, KingOfTheSmoker.com if you want to uh, have a little preview of what we're going to be talking about here next. Uh, so, Sterling, let's kind of roll into that. King of the Smokers contest. You know, the question that I got most within the, the two or three hours uh, when the newsletter went out was, A, who's competing? And then, of course, moreover than that is, how do I get an invite? So uh, it is KCBS-sanctioned. It, it's in that uh, competitor's series, so there's not points or anything like that. Um, maybe you could address both questions. Uh, how do you get the invite, and, okay. and who's well, inviting? Well, for, first of all, uh, my elite team gets invited. The, 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 not my elite team, but the elite team. Uh, and from there, I like to have some legends. See, I don't think, my idea of having a contest, first of all, I should back up, is that I think that we all need to put on a better show. And I think we need to entertain the fans and treat them as patrons. And so my idea was to treat the teams as great as I possibly could not let the fans in until one thirty, and then at one thirty, ask them to pay back that to the fans. And so there's a lot of really neat little details in King of the Smokers. Number one, they can't use, there's no garnish. There's no electricity. There's no pellets, which is sort of interesting because Big Papa Smokers is the number one Mac pellet dealer. <laughs> and I saw a lot of barbecue delights pellets. So I sort of don't make sense sometimes, but it's it's a little bit old school. Uh, they all have to cook the same meat. It's a level playing field. Uh, there's no sides on the easy ups. Okay, and I provide the easy ups. It's you're, it's four walls open, but it's done at the beautiful La Quinta Resort, and it's not to be confused with the La Quinta ho- the motels. This is a five star resort, and this resort has bought into the idea of hosting the finest barbecue contest in the country, and that's what we're trying to do. So. There's 26 casitas on this open lawn, and everybody's smoker is right in front of their casita. And it's kind of neat because it's Christmas, and one of the casitas is with Frank Capra wrote, and it's a wonderful life. Sterling Ball joining me. put Darren in there this year. Yeah, absolutely. Sterling Ball joining me here on the show. Let me ask you something, and we might have touched on it a little bit last year when we were talking about it, um, but, you know, you, you taught... you. Talk about kind of making it an old school competition. Uh, no automatic temperature control devices. Uh, everybody's using the same meat. Um, do you think competition barbecue, in a way, is, has gotten away from itself, and you're kind of trying to, to rein it back, or is it not really about that? 
All right, I told you I'll stick around. I was going to go off script a little bit. I have something to say about Sterling Ball. Sterling Ball has left barbecue, competition barbecue, a much better place than he found it. I challenge each and every one of you to go out there and find somebody. Send me that name. Someone who has contributed as much to the growth of the sport of barbecue or attempted to. Sterling Ball is it. I challenge you. Go find him. Sterling, thank you for all you've done for barbecue. The history of barbecue will remember you and smile upon you. You've been through a lot of trials, a lot of tribulations. You've done a lot of fast, fantastic things. Thank you so much. Head on over to the BBQCentralShow.com. Listen to the rest of the show. Thank you so much for listening. And until next time on the best moments of the Barbecue Central Show in 10 minutes or less, I'm your host, John Solberg. I look forward to talking to you again soon.